I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a quick overview of choosing cables for your off-grid solar system. So in other videos, I've described a solar system that I built for small apartments or, um, or renters in a house and that kind of thing. It's an off-grid system, and I'm using panels and components from Renogy. And this is some of their cabling. So to run power from your roof or your balcony or wherever you're putting your panels over to your charge controller and batteries, you have to have these kinds of cables. So this is an MC4 connector. It's an industry standard, and it goes into the connectors on the back of your panels. Um, what you're looking at here is what is the thickness of the wire. So this is a 10 aug wire. Um, the lower the aug rating, uh, the thicker the wire is. So an 8 would be actually thicker than a 10, a 6 would be thicker than an 8, and so on. And the thicker the wire, um, or the lower the aug on it, that means um, you're going to be able to put more power through it without having voltage loss. So if you're running a very long cable, you want to make sure you have a very low aug, maybe 6 or something like that, wire that's going to be fairly thick so that you're not creating a lot of resistance and losing power out of your panels. Um, this is a 20-foot cable here, so if you have panels fairly close to your charge controller, this would work. Um, I'm actually using a 40-watt, or a 40-foot, rather, uh, cable to come off my roof and then down into my garage. If you are building a system for a small apartment or something, though, and you can put your batteries and controllers right out on your balcony, you might be able to get away with one that's only a couple of feet and you're not going to have a lot of loss at all. Um, but, you know, for my system, I'm using, again, a 40-foot version of this cable. Ideally, I'd be using, since I'm building a 12-volt system, I would be using uh, something like a 6-aug cable. I just went with the 10. I'll probably have a little bit higher power loss off the panels than is ideal. Um, but since I'm just really building this for testing, I think that'll be okay. Um, but again, you'd want to go for the, basically the lowest AUG rating that you can, um, you can get. You'd have a thicker wire and you would lose less power. If you're building a higher voltage system, like a 24 volt system, then it becomes less important because with a higher voltage you have less loss through a longer uh, cable. So you can actually use a thinner cable in building your system. These are super easy to set up. Um, this just clips into the connector in the back of your solar panel. You get a bare wire that can go into the back of your charge controller. Um, and Renogy sells these in everything from, I believe, like a foot all the way up to, I think, a 50-foot version of the cable. And with all different thicknesses from, I think, uh, maybe a 16 aug down to a 4 or 6 aug. Uh, maybe even sm a smaller or thicker cable uh, on there. So, you know, again, if you can afford to go for a smaller AUG rating, a thicker cable, definitely it can't hurt to do that. Um, or if you're going to go for a higher voltage, you want to save a little money, or you don't mind having a bit more power loss off your panels, then you can go for the cheaper uh, and thinner, higher AUG rated uh, cables on there. So that's a, a quick overview of these cables. Um, again, I used a 40-footer, 10 aug. It's working okay. I probably have some power loss, but that's something I can live with. Um, there's a good calculator on Renogy's website, though, that'll tell you exactly for your length of cable and the voltage of your system and your acceptable power loss what aug rating you should choose. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, then please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much.